Wow, when was the last time we were able to talk about back-to-back -back wins? Dude, dude, keep your voice down. You know what yesterday was? Ah! And then, yes, please, dude! What a great goal! Dude! Crazy throwing waffles. Woo! Who are you? Optimus Prime. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. Do you have any Advil? Stereotypes! Leafs win 3-1 for the second straight time over the Ottawa Senators. And all of a sudden this fail for nail thing's not going so well. Now I won't be a hypocrite, I'm gonna back up the Sens for something I've backed up the Leafs with for the whole season. The Sens got the Leafs on the second half of two games in two days. I've watched a lot of Sens hockey this year, they're a much, much, much better team than that. But the Leafs won anyway, so that's happy, or is it? I don't know. Actually, let's get it out of the way early. Very strange SteveDangle.com poll. If you're a Leafs fan, are you even happy to see them win? They're six points back of a playoff spot. Maybe you think they can still make it. Maybe you just like seeing the team you support win. Or maybe you want them to tank. Let me know. Vote on SteveDangle.com. I don't want to talk too much about the goals because what everyone's talking about after this game, the fights. First fight, two guys you would totally expect to scrap, Sergey Gonchar and Clark MacArthur. Wait, what? MacArthur with the takedown, not exactly a huge fight, but he is a weird fighter. He fought Chad LaRose and Yaro Spachek last season and completely destroyed both. Then again, he's not exactly fighting heavyweights. But he does a thing that a lot of people in the NHL don't really do anymore, and that's fight because he's mad. It's a weird concept. As for Gonchar, it's his first fight since fighting Guy Carboneau, what, in 1998. Here's how long ago 1998 was. John Michael Lyles is the oldest player on the Leafs at 31 years old. He was drafted in the year 2000, which means the last time that Sergei Gonchar was in a fight, none of the Leafs had even been drafted. Carter Ashton was about seven. And speaking of Carter Ashton, the new guy, the rookie, Chris Neal starts messing with him, so Jay Rosehill steps in. And good on Jay for- what? Huh? Oh. Okay, thank you. Seriously? So, Mikhail Grabowski fought Chris Neal, and considering he didn't die, I'd say he did pretty good. On one hand, I love it, because he's not putting up with any crap. And to be fair, one of the Leafs fought Sergei Gonchar. But I just think it's a shame that the Sens and Leafs don't face each other for the rest of the season now, because can you imagine what the rematch would be like? I'm thinking there would be a couple, uh, conversations involving fists and punching. And last thing specifically about this game, Don Cherry, Coach's Corner, Hockey Night in Canada, you may have heard of it. Now a huge part of what he does is going, I told you about this, I don't know how many years ago, genius. And that's fine, if you're right, you're right, I'd show it off. But last night, Cherry said something about Grabowski that I have said for years, probably since he first came to the Leafs. In fact, what even makes it better is I think it was before the Neil fight. And that is, one day, Mikhail Grabowski is gonna get himself killed. Cause he's always just vroom, flying into the neutral zone, not paying attention. One day, and it does happen kind of, but he he hasn't been just really hammered good. Someone is gonna clobber this guy in the neutral zone. Got wrecked by Chara twice last season, ended up scoring a goal after each hit, but he's just gonna get squished. And between the flying through the neutral zone, the getting squished by the game's biggest player, by fighting Chris Neal, one of the game's top heavyweights, you just wonder what the shelf life on this guy is going to be. After his contract extension, we're hoping at least five years. Look, it doesn't mean he's a bad player. I sound like an overprotective mom. We're very proud of you. Just be careful, please. Last thing I want to talk about, this has nothing to do with hockey at all. I apologize, but it just super pissed me off. I'm sure you heard about the Fleming riot. A few idiot, stupid, moron students got way too drunk woo on St. Patrick's Day, started burning things and flipping over cars in London, Ontario. One of the comments I saw on one of the YouTube videos for the riot, rioting, Canada's new pastime. I laugh, but it's not funny. But, and you'll be happy to know, it's just so delightful when stupid things like this happen, we have a new Brock Anton. The name Brock Anton may ring a bell because after the Vancouver riots, he became kind of famous for being the single IQ'd douchebag that bragged about flipping over cars and burning stuff on his Facebook. And a great picture I saw tweeted from JP Nakota of Pension Plan Puppets fame of a new guy, his name's Brendan Dowden, just looking at his picture now, bragging about what he did at the London riots. The riot was in London, says he's from St. John's, Newfoundland, there was the riot in Vancouver. Just get it a wide stupidity. And all I really want to say about this is if you can't handle your liquor, don't drink. But if you participated in the riot and you were stone sober, I hope you are flung into the sun with a wily e. coyote slingshot. Another stupid thing I heard recently ab about uh, these guys broke into a new house to have a party, man, and they blamed it on Project X, some new movie that's coming out. Movies and TV and music and video games, YouTube videos, they don't make you stupid, you're stupid. I've watched 300, I don't even know how many times, and I am proud to say I have yet to spear one giant rhino in the face. I think copycat 
things like this bug me more because you're an idiot and you're unoriginal. Just wanted to put that out there, I feel a little better. But anyway, hockey, uh, Leafs win 3-1. Remember the SteveDangle.com poll question I asked you, are you even excited to see the team win anymore? So check that out on SteveDangle.com. Follow me on Twitter at Steve underscore Dangle and like my page, Facebook.com slash Steve Dangle page. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the like button, and show your mom. She'll love it. She will.